Yep, yep, to the yep, yep. You already know what time it is. It's your girl, POC. Host of Revive Radio. It's Friday. So, trust that you already know how we coming. Each and every Friday, 3 to 6 p.m., 98.5. Turn the radios up. Switch them dials over. We got an amazing jam-packed show for everyone out there. Make sure you guys tune in on reviveisalive.com as well. You can also catch us live. We catching this virtual wave on Instagram at revive underscore POC. We have two amazing special guests. Up first, we have Thelma Wright herself, Philadelphia's very own Thelma Wright, talking about her story about how she overcame the streets, how she survived the streets, and also we'll be talking about her new book that's in stores right now. Make sure you guys go check that out and grab a copy. And then our next guest, we got Crystal McNeil coming out of the Washington, D.C. area, talking about gun violence and also how she lost her 11-year-old son due to gun violence in the Southeast D.C. area. You don't want to miss this. We got a jam-packed show. Radio's up, dial's over. Let's go. It's your girl POC revives a lot, revives a lot, revives a lot. You go to jail. In the early 90s, Philadelphia was actually a mecca of drug distribution, primarily heroin and cocaine. The price went down, but the sales went up. It went faster. Jackie Wright was always a major player in the city. You know, sharp dude. He took care of us. He loved his son. If he was a real, nothing could happen. He was shot in the head. I thought, that that broke her. She's done. People are assuming Jackie left me all this money. Nope. I got this child. I can't lay down and die. So we just resumed business as normal. Made a lot of money. A lot of money. She took it over. I cut my hair, I changed my look. She saw who his clients were, sources of supply. Thelma has always been about the business. Now, the people who are responsible for this latest shooting, well, they're still out there on the streets. And when he stepped out the car, the shots rang, he fell to the ground. The mother thought that he was ducking to not get hit and come to find out he had got shot. John Ayala describes the terrifying moments before his 11-year-old grandson was shot and killed on the 4th of July. This is another kid that's not out there causing problems and not doing anything negative, and all of a sudden he tragically shot down in a community where he should not have been shot. Davon McNeil died after police say a group of men started shooting near 14th and Cedar Streets in Southeast DC. His family says he was just running inside to grab a phone charger before heading to a community cookout. He loved the community though. He definitely liked to get out and do positive things within the community. McNeil was a sixth grader at Kramer Middle School where the principal described him as funny and outgoing. McNeil was a student athlete Spooning and a leader in his community. Radio. Someone who saw the Spooning bright in any situation. Radio.